Welcome to today's update on my painting project for the American War of Independence. As you can see in front of you here today, I've finished three groups of Continental Infantry, so two groups of the 7th Pennsylvania Regiment, which are these chaps in front here in the dark blue and the red facings. Uh, so you've got a sergeant there on the left-hand side of the line, and you've got two groups of eight. And then at this end of the line, um, a couple of officers, which just says three leaders of different forms for them. And then a third group, which I've just completed at the back here, in different headgear and different facing. So this is Hartley's additional Continental Regiment. Uh, they were brigaded with the 7th Pennsylvania during the 1777 campaign. Uh, and they're quite pleasing, actually, with their uh, yellow and blue facings. They come up pretty well, and the change of headgear and also the less uniform poses and the way they're carrying their weapons uh, was quite pleasing to do. And so that gives me a decent uh, decent core force then for uh, sharp practice. I just need to add at least a couple more groups before I can get the force tabletop ready. Uh, and to that end, as you can see behind, the next figures to be painted are there. So there's half a dozen of uh, plastic Perry uh, American infantry, they're in hunting shirts and various poses, and they'll be used either to represent uh, skirmishes with muskets or perhaps riflemen as well, although I do have half a dozen metal riflemen figures. And then alongside painting them, I'm going to make a start on these three uh, leader figures that are also in hunting shirts on that end as well, and paint them up uh, as one batch as I sort of get used to painting hunting shirts over these more formal uniforms. So quite pleased with the progress, it's always good to get things based and finished and have a look at them and see how far the projects come along. And then I'll move on to the next uh, irregular groups of the different skirmishes. Aside from which in the future, as a sort of accompanying project, I started working on a couple of diorama bases with the, f with the um, flag bearers from the different command packs that I've bought. And so I've got one there that's the Royal Welsh Fusiliers with their flags, um, which you will have seen featured in a different video about making uh, flags for your miniatures, so check that out if you haven't seen it already. Uh, and they're in their final pose arrangements now and have been cleaned up, so just need to get them primed and get on with them. And then here's the equivalent American base with its Betsy Ross. The flag will actually be turned into the base more there, it's just rotated out because it's not fixed. And that's probably what's going to be their final positions. Uh, and those will be nice little accompaniments to, I think, the two different parts of the collection. Behind them, you can actually see a, well, a collection of things on my painting desk. You've got a group of Stockbridge there, um, a couple of groups of uh, Indians with their various leader figures, uh, and those Perry riflemen that I was talking about. Uh, nothing to do with the uh, Napoleonics behind them, which are just hanging around on the desk at the moment. Um, and so those will be next in the chain. Actually, there are more things in the storage boxes to finish for the Americans before I get onto those. So they're at the very, very back of the queue before they end up hopefully looking something like this in the not too distant future, probably reasonably distant future, as I'm not getting through these as, as quickly as I would have thought, but I am enjoying painting them. And they are rewarding once they're all finished and complete. Anyway, that's just a quick update on where this painting project's got to for now. And then I shall bring you another one in the future when I've made some more progress with the rest of the Americans. So for now, Happy hobbying.